Eat. Everybody, <laughs> I still got it. I still. <laughs> I still got it. I don't really remember how to stream, but you know what? You know what I did learn. You know what I did learn. I learned how to use a VPN. <laughs> okay. I learned how to use... a VPN. I know. I... I know. I know. But you know what the issue with this now is? You know what the issue is? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Now that I'm using a VPN... I'm stuck on British YouTube! I'm stuck on British YouTube. Let me show you. It shows me in the top right corner. I think I'm using like... I'm, I'm in a British zone. I think I can change it. I think... I think I can change it, but I don't really know how. So... I'm stuck on British YouTube. <laughs> H Doom Guy, thank you for all the gift subs. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Good to see all of you. Really, very, very much. It's been a little bit. I know there's been toils. Oh, you guys, you guys need to update me on what's been going on. Because I didn't use Twitter for like over a week. I didn't use Twitter for over a week. I had no news. I didn't know what was going on with anybody. I don't know where I am. I don't know what VTubers are doing. And it seems like a lot has happened. And I have a lot to tell you guys too. Well, kind of. Jerry Springer died? Of the Jerry Springer show? Show fame? Jerry Springer show fame? That's not the worst thing ever, right? <laughs> I don't know. But rest in peace to Jerry Springer. What else did he do? I know he had a, he had a, a, a show. But thank you, the Juan Mower. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while to read. Oh shit. Okay, let me read all of your guys' things. Sorry. Um, okay, let's see. Take a look. 
Thank you, Blazing Knights, the Lawnmower, Asian Equation, Skitsius, Kompuchi, Blaine, Magmar, Picophanies, Pickle Taco Trade, Jake Runner, Radioactive, RJ, Biddy, Derek, uh, Lucky, Hybrid Fuse, Binary Mind, Hoodie, Shoe, Venatrum, Zaxter, Saber, Garfield, Nacho King, Mr. Z, and Rickabus, and Chili Rock. Thank you guys so much for your resubscriptions. And thank you, H Doom Guy, for the five gift subs. I do know that Low Tier God got banned on Twitch again. Again, not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking over. And this just uh, adds to the sneaking suspicion that Mari Mari underscore Yen is secretly low tier god with a voice changer. Same person, different day. Yeah, but I'm gonna. I'm coming. We are fucking back. It's so good to thank you, Giga, my goddess, and Ahego, and Kazuna for the resubscriptions. Hello, Mario. We're so fucking back. Kind of back. We're not back to our regular schedule. I hope that's okay. Only for a few days, and then I will be back to it. Uh. Guilty Proxy, thank you for the resubscription. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I got caught up in a whirlwind. But am I awake at normal times? Kinda. Sorta. I use I I'm it's still deep in the grand in me for it to fall asleep late. Um so I fall asleep at around like 3 a.m. Bam. Which could, could be worse. Yeah. But, uh, it was, it's been turbulent. However, I'm fine. My health is fine. And you know what? Urania, thank you for the resubscription as well. Thank you. Everything could always be worse. And I'm good. And we're good. And, uh,. How was your guys' pregnancy? Oh yeah, but one thing you guys must know. Mari Mari underscore Yen has been going to the gym to even even myself out. <laughs> I know, I know, I've been lifting weights. Isn't that crazy? It's new. I don't know. But I guess you guys probably could have seen my progression. I started eating a bunch of protein. And then... Yeah. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to beat you guys up. Storm, thank you for the resubscription! Thank you! Thank you. Um, how much can I bench? I can't bench jack shit. Not yet. My arms, you know what's very hard for a girl's? Upper body strength, usually. It's very difficult for girls a lot of times to gain upper body strength very fast. Comparatively to your legs. And your... I can't- why can't I say that? Why can't I say that? Huh? Isn't he not a muscle girl? Don't ask me. I wouldn't say that. I don't think she goes to the gym. You ask her. You can ask her about it. 
Why ask me about her? Why ask me about other VTubers? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> Stop being so crying, okay? I've been on a whole... I've been in my own little secluded hole. For... Two weeks. I don't know anything about the news. I don't know anything about... The... The... the world. All I know about is... Did I get the milk? I... I don't think I have any milk. I'm sorry. Yeah, but... But everything is okay. I'll be... F every, everything's fine. I'll be back to regular. Soon... Yeah. Also, Darkhold, thank you for the resubscription. And Clinta, thank you for the resubscription. But yeah, I'll be back to my regular schedule. But for now, I'm gonna be streaming a little earlier. A little shorter. Back into it. Back on the grind, baby. Well, you know what's cool? You know what's coming up? I got a cool email a couple of days ago. All right. Urania! Thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Motherfucker, thank you. Sorry. Came out of me. There's like diarrhea out of my mouth. I'm sorry. Yeah, to my business email, not a penis picture. I have not gotten a penis picture in a while, so we're fine. Um... <laughs> yeah. Um, but what I was going to say... Do you guys remember when I played that gas station simulator game on stream? Do you guys remember that? It was a fun game. It was exciting. Well, they sent me the... They they made DLC for it, and they sent, uh... The, they sent me the key for it for free. Just because, I guess. So I think we'll play it. I think I'll continue to play more gas station game. I think I'll continue to make cars... ...fly around. I don't really know, I don't really know what's in the, um, in the DLC, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty fun. It's so loud. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Karugi, I forgot about that. <laughs> Why do I do that to myself? Huh? What? I can't hear you. Ugh. Leo, thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, and Krugi, thank you for the 420 bitch. Bitch. And Yuko, thank you for the reason. I missed you guys too. I missed being around. It was kind of stressing me out even. But we're good. We're fine. I like to stream. I miss shitting up chat too. Wait, there's a new monster? What kind? Truya, thank you for the free subscription! I didn't know there was a new mon- See, this is how far away I am from reality. It's like being... Watermelon Monster released in Japan. Watermelon? I feel like I've had a watermelon flavor. I thought. I'm not a big fan of like, watermelon flavored drinks. I guess. Yeah, I've been on the freaking hole. I've been in the toil mines. Yeah, oh, Japan. J Japan Daisuke. 
Cool. What about grape drink? I like grape drink. Even full. God, I love Pearl Jam. I don't care what anybody says. If people say they don't like Pearl Jam, either they, one, don't understand soul, who have no appreciation for the classics, and three, they're probably six years old. Yeah, they don't understand. And then, then, then. Play what? Any plans on Pokemon Ultimate Fusion? I forgot I was playing that. I don't know if I'll finish it. I kind of want to because I like to see the uh, the Pokemon. But I don't know. You gotta love, you gotta love Pearl Jam. Fin cells love Pearl Jam. Okay, that's kind of a very broad, broad assumption. Why? I don't know why the stream is sent to Glover Mods. Help! Mods! Joe Biden. Help me! Help! I can't play Glover. I can't do it. I have no. I have no hands. I'm not playing anything today. Thank you, Snorlax. Thank you. Rick Bain, thank you for your resubscription. You love Pearl Jam? I love Pearl Jam. What's your guys's, it's not Glover Day. What's your guys's favorite song to play on Guitar Hero? <laughs> What's your guys' favorite guitar hero song? Even flow. Okay. Oh, oh, Jake, you're so right. Oh, that's that's my favorite too. Running through the monsoon, beyond the world, to the end of time, where the rain don't hurt. I like that one too because I'm a emo little baby bastard. I love that shit. Buckle surfers. Which one? Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. I like Monsoon. By by Tokyo Hotel. Gelatinous Snake, thank you for the resubscription, by the way. I like Butthole Surfers. I didn't know there was a Butthole Surfers song either. In Clone Hero, though, you can have whatever you want. Carry on my wayward son. Yeah, that's a good one because if you're if you're fifty, <laughs> that's a good one. Tenacious D. Wait, is there a Tenacious D song in Guitar Hero? There is which one? Oh, the Met. Oh, oh! I did not know that. You know, I haven't played nearly enough Guitar Hero to know anything about it. I used to play with my brothers, but that's about it. You know, I've been playing a lot of Miku recently. I have a working controller. And, and you know what, guys? I'm freaking furious because they released an update to like fix some of the uh, visual issues in the game, right? They released an update and it just broke it more. It just broke the game more. And when I was playing one of the songs, Mika was nothing but a floating head and hands. And it ruined my day. <laughs> I was so scared. What could they do to you, Miku? Look at what they did. Yeah, like Andros. It was scary. It sucked. And I was worried. No, she wasn't even wearing a custom t-shirt. 
She was she was wearing the pink outfit. I don't know what it's called. The pink coat. The pink coat and the pink hat. I don't I don't know. She was just a floating head and hands, and it was really really scary, and I didn't appreciate it. It was not better. It was scary. What is the HJ? But I, I, I recovered from it. And I went on a walk today. I went on a walk today and I saw a snail on the ground. Sorry, all of my thoughts are very dis, disjointed. I went on a walk today and I saw a snail on the ground. And it was really exciting. Oh, I didn't stomp on it. Here, wait, let me tell you this story. I saw a snail on the ground and I got really excited and I like, I took a picture of it so I could remember it. And when I started walking a little more, I saw that there was, a, there was like a stepped snail, just like a few feet away from it. And I got so scared for the other snail that I ran back and I grabbed it and I threw it in the grass because I didn't want it to get stepped on. <laughs> It scared me so bad, and the entire time when I was going back, I was looking at my feet to make sure that I wouldn't, um... Step on any snails. I know it's... Yeah, yeah, the slugs and the snails, they just come out of the ground. And they just get out on the goddamn pavement where the people walk. We gotta set them straight. Those goddamn snails. I'm drinking water. I'm back. Hello, everybody. It's me, Mari Mari underscore yen. Oh, and you know what? Shut. Listen. I've been going through it. Okay. I needed some time. I don't mind if you message me when I'm gone, but I'm gonna tell you one thing, okay? I'm gonna get something off my fucking back. And if you're in here, I want you to take this to... part, okay? Don't you ever be a little pussy and send somebody else to ask me about your merch that I don't handle when Viyoshi has an email you can reach out to. And I told you guys 10 billion times, if you have a pre-order, it's a pre-order and you're not gonna get it immediately. Chat? Okay, I don't I don't even know who they were because somebody else reached out and was like, hey You know, I have a friend and they were just wondering where their merch is <laughs> to kill them. I don't, I don't handle that stuff, okay? <laughs> but, that is leading me to segue. Okay. If that was you, or you are somebody else who hasn't got their merch yet, don't worry. Because, I think on, like, May is what day is it today? May on like May sixth or fifth, I want to sign your guys' merch and get it out. Okay. Because by then I'll be back to my regular schedule, I think. So don't worry. Don't worry. <coughs> It's coming. You're good. <laughs> Rick, thank you for the 200 bits. And Sora and Snoo, thank you for the 
three subscriptions. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But yeah, don't don't worry. I'm not actually angry. I just wanted to let you know I'm not the right person to ask. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. But, however, on the other side, on the other end of the spectrum, thank you all very much for... If you message me with nice things, like on Twitter or whatever, you give me message requests, I read them all. I read them all. Sometimes I can't respond to them all. But I'm still very, very happy about it. and proud in the person who sends me uh, Char Gundam posts every once in a while. And I get to open it and look. And and I get to see Char from, from Gundam. Yeah. Do I know where your Amazon order is? Oh yeah, let me go out and look for it. Where do you live? Just so I have like a frame of reference. <laughs> just so I have a frame of reference. Exact address, just send, just DM it to me. Okay. I'll help, I'll find it for you. Argentina. No. You wanna play with your Mario game? I had a big range of the big game. Cause Mario might be super, but I'm super duper. With a big with a tuper. big tuper. Cause no one's gonna hit it like me. Cause Mario has a big C. Oh good. I got it's T Dubs. Because it's a big mess. We are so Mario might be a back. super man, but, but I'm gonna, gonna get a big, a big tan. Went to the past okay, I'll find you in Argentina. But I'm gonna make the new Wait, hold game on. have a new Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, hold on. Mario What's in the T-dubs? What is it? T-dubs on the mech. Man, you wanna hit it down with a big town? Man, you can't be like a big brown. My boy uh, Emo, he has a Simo. And stuff and emo, we'll it together, they're gonna be the team. I'm currently mean. sitting in the so dark. Stuff, he can laugh like the mess. And the, the, the room is lit Man, by a single candle. Mess. Man, you can't beat him. Mmm, candle. Man, you're gonna hit it down with what a big scent? town. I'm lavender. Gonna make it I had a big lavender. town in It's a lavender town. I, I came from a place like, in It's not the gas can. boy Kevin bought a lot. Yeah, it's nice. He's gonna hit it down like it's a nice. My, my favorite kind of candle like scent, though, boys, is, uh... But you think Tony Hawk's a cool I like pine tree. Of the bullet. Pine tree scent. He's gonna unfold it like the toilet. But Man, once that man made a toilet, everybody thought dragon it was so awesome. Dragon pussy. So it's gonna be a I, I've never uh, smelled dragon pussy before. Pine or vanilla? Man, see, today pine. Is the day that I'm gonna play the pine game. The big tree. Ring. I'm, gonna show I'm you back from getting the milk. Not How long does this go? Like three content. minutes? You write me down in your book, cause I'm gonna have the hooks of the big tricks. Man, all the ladies want me. But it's gonna be a game that plays the rain of the Mario. It's it's like a full song. He is a princess, but I get all the others. Hot yeah. She wants one. I want. He he is cooking. Why wasn't this in the Mario movie? See, I'm the pimp Are you man, kidding me? They man. missed an opportunity. So you be in the band. Well, I'll be your main man to get you out of that rant. Because it's coming yeah. down with a town. Find dragon knows, pussy you puts you on a list or something. What, what, what would and you know? With listen, listen, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Almost the anything the you do will put you on a list nowadays. You wanna play the, the barrio? I have the toys and the moins. You're and all on a list. Coming down with the toys. All of you guys toys. are on a list. I assure you, 100% sure, I assure you, you're on some kind of government list. Man, you wanna hit it down with the town, I have the big brown. I have a big town. You're on a list, big and big you're on a list, I'm and you're on a list. Ball. I'm gonna make it. A list of my least top favorite top viewers. Top. I don't keep yeah, a list of my least favorite good, viewers. I simply like ban them. <laughs> but 
and make it hit it up like a little spike. Oh, it's silver. Yeah, but um, was well, I was gonna say something and now I don't remember. I I don't I don't freaking know. There's so much in this world. If you say so, thank you for the resubscription. There's been too much news. Too much news. I opened my Twitter. Be Shoujo. They phase connect. The the blah blah. Just just so much stuff. I don't know. Case on. Blah, 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 VTuber. Blah, oh, I don't know. When will I collab with Mr. Keen again? Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Uh, and now that I'm here, I would also like to announce my immediate leave from V Shoujo. Uh, I, I just don't feel like I, I necessarily agree with my contract and uh, you know, yeah, I, f I feel like V Shoujo hasn't done anything for me, so yeah, and, and you know what? I don't think you should be in a group just because you it feels you it makes you feel cool, so yeah, so I, I'm announcing my leave from V Shoujo. <laughs> Yeah. Breaking news. Mari Mari underscore Yen, famed VTuber. Leaves leaves V Shoujo. I should do a, I should do a stream about that. I should do a stream where I answer all of your guys' um very important questions about why I left V Shoujo. Are me and Iron Mouse still friends? What is a friend? Someone who you've never talked to before? <laughs> what is a friend? A miserable pile of secrets? But enough talk! Have at you! I really wish that happened instead. Why did I say it like I'm the fucking Joker? Because I am! You know what I tried to do? I tried to get my Joker makeup on before I came here. So you guys would assume that I came back from the mental facility, but... For some reason, I can't get it on my face. It won't go on. I... It's... It's... I don't know. I don't know. I can't get it on me. Yeah. <laughs> so I never left. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I'm implying. <laughs> no. Does it flicker and then vanish on release? No. You know what happens? It just, I click on it to show up and then it just doesn't go on the screen. Yeah. This is my my allotment of PC time at the mental facility. They gave me one hour, so let's make it last, guys. I already used 20 of those minutes before I streamed jacking off to um porn, so we only have like three minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get yeah, the corn. Born in a truck, born in a field, corn in the bottom of a moonshine steel. You know you go longer than 20 off. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you know, they call. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm just all endurance, right? The, la the ladies love it. The ladies want me. I'm just getting called all the time. By the, by the ladies. I'm, 
I'm very cool. I'm very cool. The ladies love a fish who... who takes an hour and 30 minutes to hum themselves. Hum is a weird word, but it's, it's not as bad as other words for cum. At least cum is like short and to the point, right? At least like it, it's over with after you say cum. Cum, nut. But like splooge overstays its welcome. Uh. Well, what's the one I really don't like? I really don't like splunk. That's it. I did, and I think the reason I don't like it is because I used to not know that it was a word for cum. So, like, my mom would always say spunky, or, or like... And now every time I use the word spunky, I feel like I'm being inappropriate. Right? Patty! Thank you for the resubscription, by the way. Thank you. It's good to be back, too. I miss... I... I'm... I miss Ring. I don't want to leave. What situation? My mom said spunk. And you know, like, spunky. Like, you're a spunky gal. Like, you got a lot of spunk. Not like cum, but like the... Other... No, we can't watch Rent! No! If anyone brings up rent in my vicinity ever again, I'm going to... I hate the musical rent. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get that out of the <laughs> Can I watch Reed? I don't think most people hate Ren. I don't know, maybe they do. What's the majority opinion on musicals? I feel like the majority opinion on musicals, if you're not a fucking psychopath, is you don't really, like, think about it. Or you don't really care. Right? But the two psychopathic ends of the spectrum are like, Oh my god, I fucking love musicals more than anything. And oh my god, I would rather die than watch a musical. I'm actually going to krill myself if I have to watch one. Those are like the crazy, those are like the deranged opinions. I'm going to low tier god myself, yeah. Lucy, thank you for the resubscription! You know, while Lucy is here, there's something I do need to tell you guys that I did realize recently. I need to tell you guys something that I was taught. And you know what? Maybe sometimes it is okay for you to tell, tell people to KYS. You know, maybe sometimes it is okay to just type KYS to somebody. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not a bad thing. Maybe it's righteous. Maybe it's the righteous thing to do sometimes. I don't know. Keep yourself safe. Yeah. Keep yourself safe. It's morally gray. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, yeah. Telling somebody to KYS is definitely morally gray. That is like the definition of morally gray. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm gonna like come out and say, I'm kind of like yanking your guys' chain when I say that gay incest is morally gray because I like to see how angry it makes you. But I think we can agree that telling someone to KYS is actually morally gray. I'm sorry, I just like to get your guys' go. I think it's funny when you all go, Um, that's really problematic of you, Mari Mari underscore Yen. I'm sorry, it's so funny. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I can think of. I'm yanking their train. And then after I'm done streaming, I like look at myself in my 
blank monitor after I shut everything off. And I go, yep, I still got it. <laughs> and then I light a cigar. And I stand on the balcony and I look at the moon. <laughs> I'm just grabbing your gooch. Okay, well that's... Is that appropriate to say? That does make me a bad and obnoxious person. Um, okay. If I'm bad and obnoxious, then what are you? I'm just slapping your nuts. I'm just yanking chain. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's funny. Well, I, I am a firm believer in... I'm a firm believer in humor. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm a firm believer that... Sometimes you just need to laugh. Sometimes I just need to laugh. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Mario. I don't think it's a bad thing to do. Not at all. I'm shocked. I'm honestly... Small, thank you for gifting a sub to... A hingus. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Don't believe me, what? I don't even remember what I said. Yeah, you've gotta be a little bit silly. I have Mario gummies. Eh? Karugi just oh, bought you fuck. Toho Project. Rem. Tilda sent via throne.com. Thank you, Karugi. Oh, wait, you know what that reminds me of? Yesterday, I got a DM from like five different people with the same thing in it. Including chat members. Have sent me this. Thank you. I very appreciate it. But I need to show you guys the cutest thing I ever see in my life. Oh yeah, thank you. Donated. This fucking J5 file? Are you kidding me? I don't know how to show you guys this. Wait, hold on. Copy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry, guys. I'm figuring it. I, I'm i figuring it. When is OBS going to integrate J5 file? Why can't we just make websites automatically process J5 into PNG? That's what Discord does. Fuck you, OBS. Why can't you let me have anything good? Anyway, sorry. That's my little rant. Boom. Look at this. Il Miku doll. Il Miku doll. Very cute. Very cute. I had five people send me this yesterday. Very cute. I saw it. Yeah. Delightfully, Xiaohua Xian small tip T Dian Liu Jiu Mei Yuan Toho Project. Toho Project. Every single time I hear Toho Project in my head, I just hear Toby Fox saying it. Toho Project. Also, thank you so much, Groovy. Thank you. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Joxer, I didn't see that. So, I'm sorry. I didn't see you do that. That's awfully mean of you, though, you bastard. Mr. Z1994 is no longer a VIP. That was evil. Did Flan did arrive? Wait. I didn't. You know what? I didn't take her out of the box yet, though. Because I have, like, no shelf space. I need to do that. I need to get new shelves. I don't... I don't know why I haven't. Maybe just because... I, I always forget how expensive and like... 
how angry I get about the idea of furniture. I hate furniture. I hate that shit. I built a bed frame though. I finally did it, but it's not that bad. It's pretty lightweight. I do have too many Mikus on my shelves. I do actually. But there's no way I'm gonna just start setting up Mikus on the floor. And also... Um... I gotta get... I gotta, um... I wanna make like a Pokemon shrine. I wanna make a Pokemon shrine with the stuff that I won from Twitch Rivals. Uh, if you guys are curious, they did uh, reach out to me and they asked which skateboard I wanted. And I chose the Blastoise one because honestly, I think Blastoise would be a very good dad. I wish Blastoise was my dad. Because then I would never get bullied because he would just shoot the bullies with his big water cannon. Yeah, you know who got their stuff? Below Zero. I saw he got, he got, he got, he got. He got the Snorlax board. You know, I really wanted to get the side up one, but I'm gonna show you guys something, okay? I'm gonna show you, uh, a comparison between them really quickly, if I can freaking find them. Where are you? Image, please. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, here is. Stark as 11 oh, just bought Star you Vocaloid, so Hatsune much. M. But this Miku should be banned in 69 it's countries so for how cute it is. Have so another much. Miku. M I G G G G U U U U U U U U U. Tilda sent via throne. Dot <laughs> donated. Donated. <laughs> Thank you so much, Star, for the Miku. I appreciate it. But yeah, when the Remelia comes, we'll definitely take a picture of Flan and Remelia together. Donated. But I'm gonna show you, here's what the Blastoise skateboard looks like. Isn't this fucking badass? Think of how, like, much it'll be able to flex on, on kids on the playground. If I learn how to ride it. Um, and then... This is... I'm gonna show you guys what the Psyduck one looks like. Okay. And you have to promise not to laugh. <laughs> it's so cute, but you know what I don't like about it? It has the big question mark above it. And all of the other ones like look so cohesive and they have like this really cool posing. And then there's this one with Psyduck with a fucking question mark above his head. Yeah, I think the question mark should be smaller too. And I don't know, I, I just like, I couldn't vibe with it though. You know which one I was also kind of on the fence about? I really liked the slow poke. This one is really cute. Come on, that's adorable. It's so cute. I know, I know it's adorable. I know, I know, I know. And also, I was thinking about getting this one, but the issue was... Um... I want to put it on my wall. I don't actually think I'm gonna ride it, but I want to put it on my wall. And I thought that the blue would look better with all of my Mikus. <laughs> so I got the Blastoise one. Yeah. I was just thinking about the coordination. Well, Miku will like it. I did it for her. 
I did it for her. There are also a lot of other really cute ones. But I also thought it was good because it's water type. And Mari Mari underscore Yen is water type. A lot of people say I would be water fairy, but I want to be water steel because steel is way cooler. Oh, hi, Mogu. Also, oh, hi, oh, hi, uh, oh, hi, Lucky. Oh, hi, oh, hi. Wait, wall lamps made with skateboard. I haven't seen those before. No, 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 no. My crown, like, steel, like, the gold, like, like, uh, I know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, like, stretching it a little bit, but, like, the gold and the, the crown. Like, like, Empoleon. You know how Empoleon is, is water and steel? I want to be like that. That's what I was thinking about. Because it's cooler. Water and steel is cooler than water. You don't know what gen Pokemon that is? It's gen four. It's one of the starters. Wait, Small, did I say thank you for gifting a sub to Loaf? I'm sorry, I forget. I have no thoughts in Candyman, thank you for the resubscription as well. I appreciate it. I don't have a single, it's not a single thought in this head. Yeah. No, oh, I thank you now. Thank you. You know which one I, I kind of liked, though, for some reason? I thought this one. This one, I'm not a big... ...fan of this Pokemon that much. But I thought that the Magnemite one was kind of killer. This is kind of cool. I like, like, the, the lightning effect coming off of the Magnemites. And I like that there's two of them. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this one was cool. Should have had three. I mean, but then it would have been a Magneton. Cause you, the lore is the lore, the lore, the lore. The lore is that if if you have three Magnemites together, they get stuck and they make a Magneton. So they couldn't do that. Yeah, you, you have to think about the lore of, of Pokemon. You, yeah, you can't forget the freaking lore. Yeah, and Puleon is the penguin, and he's, he's cool. Also, the thing about this one is it has, like, these waves on the side, and these other ones don't have that. They don't, they have, like, this regular skateboard, uh, side things, but this one is like the waves coming out of it. You see that shit? It looks cool! I like that. It has the waves. Do I see the thing though? Do you see the thing? I s uh, do you see the thing? Though. Do you? Why he gets special treatment? Well, I think all of the starters kinda did. The Mudkip, I wanted the Mudkip one, but it was out of stock. I know it's nice, I know, I know it's it's really nice. You gotta hang it on your wall. You gotta hang it on your wall and you gotta come tribute it every day. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to, wait, you have to tribute it every day. Not come, come, come tribute. Every, every day! Once a little, what? You you don't have three minutes that you can spend every day rubbing one out. Three three minutes. I only have three minutes. I only need three minutes. <laughs> maybe maybe one minute. Maybe one minute. All right. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Okay. See, well, that's even better then. So then, you could afford to come tribute this thing twice a day, right? You just have to. You know, what you have to do. You have to learn how to come max. Have you guys ever seen Thra? Like, have you guys ever seen um, like come maxing things, like 
articles. Yeah, you gotta like, yeah, you gotta eat sink. Huh? What do you mean, huh? You guys don't know? You guys don't know? Listen, if you look up, I'm, I'm getting on a list for this because apparently if you put maxing in any word, you're an incel. And incels are, are a radical group or whatever. Uh, but come maxing. If you look up come maxing, you'll get a bunch of different, um, like, you'll get a bunch of different things about how to maximize your come load. And, uh, vitality? I don't, I don't know what the word is. The strength of it, I guess? I don't know how to say it. I don't know. You gotta do boy key things. Yeah, looks maxing. I'm looks maxing. Looks maxing? Okay, I know I'm gonna sound like an incel for saying this. But it's real. It's real, okay? Like... Yeah, it looks maxing. It's real. It's real. I mean, like... It, uh, if you take care of yourself better, then you're gonna look better. If you do skincare, like you... You max your looks out to its maximal genetic potential. Okay, and I'm not an incel, by the way. I'm not- I'm just saying, like, you- if you take care of yourself and you do- and you work out and you do things to, like, care about your life... <laughs> it's real! It's real! I swear! Well, let's call it something else then. Let's not call it looks maxing, let's call it... Fucking... Taking care of yourself! People, 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 people. Yeah. Is Carrot Top looks maxing? Did Carrot Top? I feel like looks maxing, uh. Yeah, it's called slaying. You slay. Alright. Carrot. I think looks maxing doesn't have anything to do with, uh, like any enhancements like Botox or surgery. Because it's only has to do with like your genetic potential, I guess. I don't know what Carrot Top is. I don't know what he did. But he doesn't look real. He looks scary. I was. I grew up very. I don't want to be mean to anybody's looks, but growing up and seeing Carrot Top, I was scared of him. I was scared of how he looked. He's a genetic freak. And he's not normal. I believe that. I believe that. How jacked is Carrot Top? I don't even remember what his body looks like. Here. This is gonna sound like Cope, but I have... A... I have a... I have a suggestion for you guys. If you're short, go to the gym. <laughs> I know! I know it sounds like I'm right now. I know, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. But short people gain muscle faster. I mean it, I mean it. Listen, there's something very, very like, it's good to be close to the ground if you want to lift. Well, obviously go to the gym, period. If you want, like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you have to. You're 5'4", that's fine. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Yeah, low center of gravity. How long can I plank for? I don't know. I haven't planked in... I don't think I've, like, had to do a plank since... Uh, like... High school gym class? Planks are military stuff. <laughs> and 
high school gym class is kind of like preparing you for the military. It's a good core workout. Maybe I should incorporate it. Maybe I should try it. Yeah, the military. No, they do! They do do planks. They do. I think. I know about the military. They do planks. They plank and they run around. <laughs> they run around in, in a circle. Yeah. That's real, that's real. Like, imagine gym class, but... A bunch of grown adults and... and uh... <laughs> they, they do run around, it's true. Can I dance the worm? Ooh, I don't know if I can. I wanna try that. Get yeah, gym class, but you do it every day. No, it's not every day. You don't do PT every day. PT. PT is just a, like, military PE. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. So I sounded kind of creepy. <laughs> Poor Nikki. This military man is forced to run in a circle every Wednesday. Everybody, please send him your condolences. The book. Yeah, physical training. As opposed to... Emotional training? What would emotional training be? Oh, sorry. Every Tuesday and Thursday. My bad. Every Tuesday and Thursday he runs in a circle. <laughs> I was pretty close, though. PT can also be physical therapy. But... Still, I don't know what emotional training would be, be like. Um, going to the therapist and having to talk about your deepest, darkest, most traumatic moments of your life. Or, or watching a sad movie or doing that, maybe. That, that too. You know, I, I think I'm gonna go... I wanna go watch the, the new Shad anime movie of the season. What is, it, what is it called? Suzume? I wanna watch the new Shad anime movie. It's like an hour. Yeah. Some, yeah, something about a door. I don't know. It's like your name except... Your name, 2023? I don't know. I've never really been into anime movies like that because I feel like it's just... Motion baiting. I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's emotional. It's not sad, it's emotional. So... Wait, I'm confused. If you get emotional, isn't that... Well, is that happy? Or angry? Not sad? What's five centimeters per second? I can go five centimeters per second. That's easy. Oh, you know what I've been doing? I... I downloaded... Who up playing Pikmin Bloom? Who up playing Pikmin Bloom? Me. I am. I've been playing Pikmin Bloom. I don't know why. Oh yeah, the weathering with you guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pikmin Bloom. It's like, it's exactly like Pokemon Go, except... Listen, it's Miyamoto's vision, okay? It's exactly like Pikmin Pokemon Go, except it's with Pikmin. So... Yeah. It, it's it's great. It still makes me kind of angry though every single time I open it because 
Fucking Miyamoto. Fucking Miyamoto. Period. That's it. Fucking Miyamoto. Period. Angry. Anger. Yeah, I do go... That's why... I, that's kind of why I went for a walk today. Because I wanted to walk my Pikmin. And get new ones. Fucking Miyamoto. God damn it, where's Mario? Don't give me this shit! Fucking Miyamoto! You know what? I... 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 Your name is... is fine. I want to eat your pancreas is fine. The only reason I watched it was because it sounded scary. And I thought it would be like funny or scary and I watched it. It's it's emotional. It's about a girl with pancreatic cancer. That's what it's about. It's an anime movie about a girl with pancreatic cancer. And it's like this idea, uh, I don't know. It's like this idea that culturally, if, if you like eat a healthy, healthy organ, then yours will become healthy too. I don't know. Yeah, and I watched it. I watched it with like a bunch of other people because I thought it would, I didn't know it was going to be emotional. And I, I couldn't cry. I couldn't cry and I couldn't get upset about anything because... Well, I didn't want to seem like a pussy. Obviously. I didn't... I, I Inside I cried because it's not what I wanted. Maybe. If you eat brains, will you become smarter? Uh, you know, you may as well try. Isn't that how you get disease? There's a disease. There's like... Male life wasting disease. What the fuck am I saying? There's like a... A... Prion disease. That's it. That's it. Mad cow disease. Lao Gong Ma. Lao Gong Ma. Smart bitch disease. Was I said male life wasting disease. I have fail life wasting disease. What do you guys think about this? Is like very broad, but how do you guys feel about femboys and like uh, male life type type things? I don't know how to explain it. How you guys feel? Male male life. Like, male life... Ambivalent. <laughs> I, I feel the same. I, I really don't feel a single thing about it. You would be a male life, would you? Say, say lowercase e in the chat if you would be a male life. All life. Ma no, 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 not male life. Like male and in, in the male and the male. No, 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 no. House husband. No, not house husband. Male life is more feminine. You know what I think about when I think about house husband? I think about um. Oh God, why can't I remember? There's this yakuza manga. Oh, not the... No, no, no. I, there's an anime for it. The Way of the House Husband. With, um... What, what, whatever his name is. That's a good one, though. That's a good one. I feel like, like, House Husband... Yeah, Tatsu! House Husband is, like... Because of that manga and anime, I think about it. Uh, I feel like house husband is more like masculine, 
person, and then, uh, like, male wife would be more like, feminine person, right? Is male wife to another guy, or is there a muscle woman option? Muscle woman? Wait, 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 wait. where did the muscle woman come in here? You know what I think about when I think about muscle woman? There is, there, I mean, there's a show, regular show. It's that kid show. Um, and it has the, the muscle man character, and there's, they introduce, like... A girlfriend for muscle man. And it looks exactly the same as him, but with long hair. Yes, Starla is her name. It looks exactly the same as him, but with long hair. <laughs> yeah, longer hair. Sorry, my bad. My bad, longer... She has, like, pigtails or something. Right? And lipstick. And so if I hear the word muscle woman, I just think of that. You know who else wants a male wife? My mom! Yeah. Baby! Thank you for the resubscription! And Pocket That Rocket, thank you for the gift sub to Ryan. Whoa. The Amazons from Futurama. But what about the Amazons from... Anything else? The Amazons in every depiction of every media is very large, beautiful, muscular, large, long hair, big, big, woman, woman. And that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Wonder Woman is an Amazon. How tall is Wonder Woman? How tall is she? Is she big? Is she big? Big girl? Six feet? You know what I struggle with a lot? The idea that six feet is really tall, but feet are really small. <laughs> I just can't imagine six feet stacking up to... to like, make... One large man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me go back a little. Yeah, I just can't imagine it. Well, how big are your guys' feet? 12 inches? There's no way. Prove that your feet are 12 inches right now. There's no way your foot is 12 inches. My DMs are open, by the way. You can send me pictures of your foot with proof. Uh, Twitter.com at MariMari underscore Yen. <laughs> send proof or you're a liar. <laughs> 11 inches? You are a woman size 12? That's big. That's a big foot. Wait, what's... I know... Wait, 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 wait. Is the taller you are correlated to your height? I mean... <laughs> wait, <no. laughs> no. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Go back, go back, go back! Go back, go back! <laughs> run it back, run it back! Um... <laughs> is the taller you are correlated to your foot size? More often than not. Because you know who always has really big feet? NBA players! NBA players. I always thought that... I always considered myself kind of like Sora from Kingdom Hearts because I always felt like my feet 
were like a little too big for my size. And the, when those Astro Boy shoes came out, I felt like it was kind of like, um... Uh... It was like a calling, right? <laughs> it was like a sign, I was like, oh my god. That's so cool. I don't know, maybe... Yeah, these boots were made for me. Especially because... Uh... I had brown hair for a while. And so I was like, oh my god, he's just like me for real. I need to find myself a gay lover like Riku. That's canon! It's canon. What's wrong with brown hair? No, nothing's wrong with brown hair. Just because Sora had it, and I was like, oh, whoa, whoa. Just like him for real. I'm just like Sora. I know a lot of girls who like Kingdom Hearts. It's like the perfect game for girls. <coughs> Especially Fujoshis. Fujoshis love cute things and they love boys. Yeah. Thank you, Mono! For the hundred bits. I do need a duck. I know I do. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I really want to get a duck. I keep thinking about it. I keep getting kind of sad. And I, I keep thinking... I kind of want like a... Like a pet or something. A duck. <laughs> I want a duck. I want to... I want to take it on walks. I don't know. Is that a silly dream? Maybe. I just want one duck. Not a bunch of them. Why do Fujos love Kingdom Hearts? Because Sora and Riku were literally written together. Your friend has a duck. Is it a cute little white duck? You know what? One of my favorite genres of content in the world is... I have Instagram for one reason and one reason only anymore. Okay, well, two reasons. Um, one, to keep up with my out-of-touch friends from... The, the rural areas of Montana. And two, to look at um, these Instagram accounts that are just like Japanese women with obscure pets. I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, just, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, even Pecora has a monkey. Fucking monkey. Fucking cute. Yeah, I do want people to say I'm cool and look at my duck. Pecora does own a fucking monkey and it's crazy. And I'll, yeah, I'll bring my duck to show and tell and I'll be really cool because my mom will come in her big SUV. And she'll bring my duck. And, and, uh... And I'll feel really supported by my mom. And I'll, like, she'll give me my duck and I'll show all of my friends in school. And everyone will be so jealous of me and they'll want to play with me on the playground. And they'll want to, uh, sit with me at lunchtime. Yeah. Awesome Space Marine! Thank you for your resubscription! I really freaking appreciate it. I do wear sunglasses everywhere to protect my delicate eyes. I don't think I ever had anyone in my school who brought their cat to school, but um, one time we had like a a person come in with a a falcon, <laughs> like a falconer came in with a falcon. And she had like a glove. And 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 it was I don't I don't even think I knew it was gonna happen. Like everyone was like, oh everybody come into the come in come into the gym. And so we all went into the gym and there was this lady and she had a falcon on her. It's like 
Hi, hi, bird. And then she she like made it fly around, and then it landed right back on her arm. I I don't know. <laughs> I I don't remember anyone bringing pets though. Remember? Maybe maybe someone. Oh, you know what? When I was in, in uh, elementary school, we had a class pet and he was a little fucking gerbil and his name was El Diablo and everybody loved him. Sometimes we were allowed to take him out and he like ran around on the desks. But we always put him back in at the end of the night and one time, um, he escaped. Like he chewed a hole through like those, that, uh, those wires in the cage. I don't know. I don't know how he escaped. I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but he escaped and we had to stop class to look around the entire school to look for this tiny fucking little demon. And we never found him. And the worst part about this is it was originally one of the student's pets from home. So he cried the entire time. It was really sad. Yeah, rest in peace, El Diablo. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. Maybe he went out into the world and... Assimilated with the bunnies. What do gerbils even eat in the wild? Or maybe it was just a ploy. Like by the teacher. And El Diablo had died. And so they removed him from the cage. Really quick. And then... I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was a ploy. But regardless, we never saw that little guy. It was sad. And then we got snails. <laughs> we got snails for a class pet. And we had like this little race track. <laughs> we, had, we had this little race track and we would put them on the track. And like, we would bet on which snail would like get to the finish line first. But they never, like, went in a line, and so usually, they would never finish. <laughs> they would just, like, go around. <laughs> Fucking snail. But I love snails now. They're so cute. They did their best, they did their best. I really like- I wish I could hold one of those big, giant snails. The ones that live in Africa. African giant snails, I think they're called. Yeah, the ones that look like bunnies. Yeah, giant African land snails. It reminds me... Oh god, I love snails. I think I, think I attract them in a weird way. They give you meningitis. How do they give you meningitis? I've never gotten meningitis and I've touched a billion snails. Maybe if you lick your hands, you go, mmm, snail goo, and then you lick, lick your hands. Yum. Yeah. But, what was I gonna say? Snay. Snail. Don't eat snails raw, yeah. And especially don't eat slugs. Don't do that. Slugs aren't for eating, they're for appreciating. One time I went on the vacation to Puerto Rico and with my mom. And I was picking up shells on the beach and there was this one I really wanted and it was a spiral shell. And I had it in my hand, and we were going back to the hotel. And it started sliming on my hand. And I realized it was a snail inside of it. 
And I got so excited when we got back, I put it in a cup. Right? I put it in a cup. And um, I put it on the, like, the side table by the bed. And I was like, I'm gonna keep this as a pet. But, right after I did that, the cleaning lady knocked on our door and goes, Room service, can I do your room? And we were like, oh, okay. And we went out for a bit. But when we came back... Snail and the cup were gone. I think she threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. The world is mate. Yeah, I hope that she took him as a pet for herself. I hope so. And on that same trip, I need you guys to understand that I took my DS with me and I left it there. <laughs> And I cried at my mom and I made her call. I made her call the hotel so that we could get it back and sent to us. And they did find it! They did find it! Rest assured, I got my DS back. However, that DS has been through hell and back. And yes, I still have it. I still have it. <laughs> I still got it. I know, clutch for real. I know, happy ending outside of this. Wow, what kind of DS was it? Regular one. Regular one. It was, um, it was, I mean, the DS Lite, not a regular one. It was, like, pearlescent. I don't know. It was, like, one of the early colors. Like, a nice pink one. Not the fat, big fat fatty. I never had an original DS. Never. I kind of want one because they're kind of cool. Does it, it stinks fat and ugly. Hey, that's not very nice to say. I know the DS Lite is better, but I've never had a DS before. I've had a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color, a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy Advance XP, uh, DS Lite, DSi, 3DS, 2DS, but I've never had a DS. Ever. Which is a bigger red flag, a DS or a Vita? Don't, don't say that! The Vita, the Vita is cool. <laughs> don't say the Vita is a bigger red flag, the Vita is cool. The Vita is cool, the Vita is cool. I won't, I won't. Oh. Yeah. I have a Vita, so it must be cool. Yeah, it had, um... A Kiba strip on it. I mean, how could you go wrong with that? It had... It had Senran Kagura on it! How could you go with that? I love the Vita. I lost mine in the breakup. My whore ex-wife took it! Yeah, fucking get her! Fuck your wife! Fuck your whore ex-wife! Fuck her! Bitch! <laughs> Here, let's make a plan to get it back for you. Maybe she still has it. You know, that's the saddest thing. There's two, two places that you are going to lose your consoles. And that's um, if you have siblings and you grow up. And they take them before you do? Or you, um... I, I guess if you're... Have a wife or... Um, husband. 
and they take it in the divorce. Can somebody explain the concept of a prenup to me? I actually have no idea what a prenup is. I don't know. Also, Infinite Zero in Wyoming, thank you for the resubscriptions, by the way. A contract. Just agree on who gets what. Oh. No, Mormons don't just do that. Rich people do that. Rich people do that. I think. Wait. So if you don't sign a prenup, it's 50-50? Well, I don't get it. If you guys get divorced, why would you want it to be 50-50? I feel like people should have... Like... Well, wait, hold on. Actually... I don't know. It's confusing. I mean, I guess there's a lot of different things that could happen. But I feel like people should just keep what's theirs. And then, like, create... Maybe a joint bank account together, and then that can be 50 50? I, I don't know. And like, you could agree. You could agree, like, well, this is my stuff and this is your stuff, but we can put a specific amount in the joint bank account so we can afford a house. I don't know. I don't know. It would undermine the concept of marriage. Ugh, it's too complicated. It's too complicated. Oh. Just go to dinner. Go to dinner, I would say. Just... Why does it always have... Why does it have to be... Blue? I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah, why can't everyone just be cool? Why can't everyone just be cool and just... And just know what they need and, and take what they need? And, and only that and not take anything more. Yeah, why can't we all just chill out and have fun? I am not a communist for believing that people should just have what they need. Within reason. No. Of course, everybody wants to live luxuriously. But I'm just talking about marriage. I'm just talking about marriage! I'm not talking about houses and shit. I'm just talking about marriage. Call me a, a marriage commie. But I believe that... Yeah, I don't know. Am I eating the peas? No. I am a sugar. Chicken. Hmm. Blah. Is it another shape? No. It's like, um... This cut up. Chicken and, and rice and curry. That's it. They married as a scam. Yeah, but going to other people's weddings is fun. That's fun. I've been to like one wedding. In my whole life, and it was exciting. And I like to eat the food and drink alcohol. <laughs> and don't drink, guys, don't drink. It's not good for you, by the way. Do that. I eat meal. I like meal. I poo. I was not drunk. 
You know what, though? I've never gotten a hangover before. That's my superpower. I don't know why. But don't drink, okay? It's not good for you. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. I mean it. People always talk about feeling, oh, I'm so woozy, or oh, my head hurts. I feel fine. I love Lean! I love Lean. <laughs> uh, Rapture Mouse, thank you for gifting a sub to brownish hair. I appreciate it. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm in the water. Do I am under the water? Alcohol is weird. Don't drink. Don't drink. Enough Pepsi. The Peeps flavored Pepsi? Do they still have that? Isn't it over? Isn't Easter over? What's next? Mother's Day? They should make... Mom C. Mom C. They should make mom Pepsi. Pepsi for moms. My mom loves Pepsi. I don't know what it is, but my mom has one vice anymore. Two vices. She loves to smoke. God bless her heart. Uh, and she loves diet Pepsi. I don't. I don't know. She loves it. She loves it more than anything. She says it tastes better than regular Pepsi. And I don't get it. I really don't. She says, no, I don't want that regular stuff. It doesn't taste as good. <laughs> what? Diet Pepsi is a vice. I mean, yeah, it's her addiction. Is she diabetic? No. Oh, she is not. She just likes it. I honestly, I can't taste the difference a lot of the time. The only time I can taste a difference is when I get a soda at like a, a restaurant and the machine doesn't have enough fucking syrup in it. So I just get like this gross watered down Coca-Cola. You know what I love though? I love Coke with lemon. I like that. I don't get to drink a lot of soda, but when I do, I'll fucking throw down. With a Coca-Cola, every once in a while, I just love to drink an ice-cold Coca-Cola with lemon in it. It's good. My favorite things to drink. You guys already know what I love. You know, you know how I feel. I love Monster. I love. Oh my god. The GNC is evil. The GNC is evil because they have. They have like G Fuel Can and Ghost Energy Can. Right? Now, G Fuel, whatever, fine. But ghost energy? It has like 200 milligrams of caffeine in it? Oh, I love it. It tastes so good. It is fucked up. It is. And it makes you bonkers. It makes you crazy. It tastes good and it has caffeine up the ass. More caffeine than monster. To put this into perspective, 60 milligrams is kind of a lot. And Monster has 140 milligrams. Drink Bang. Bang is having a legal issue right now, so it's kind of hard to find. And every time I find it, it's shit flavors. I don't remember exactly what the legal issue is. With Bang, but I know that they're 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 the person who owns them is really crazy.
really crazy. They do make a shit flavor. No, 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 not like shit. But I mean like, like come on, coffee flavored energy drinks. I'm still not on board. I am still not on the coffee flavored energy drink train and nothing will bring me there. Nothing will get me on board. I will not be on this train. I am vehemently against it. Still. Blech. It's gross. But the ghost is, is young. It's good. They have this phase clan flavor. <laughs> I know. Don't call me a loser, but they have this phase clan flavor. And it's called like I don't know, it's like rocket pop flavored or whatever. I I don't freaking know. And it's so good. It's so yummy. It tastes like a rocket pop, but uh it has carbonated. It has carbonated. Delicious. Starbucks milk a double shot. And I like I like going to Starbucks as like a white girl treat. But Starbucks is expensive. Six dollars for one drink? Jeez. Jesus Christ. And you know what else is expensive as shit? That I don't even think is that good. Don't, don't come at me. Um, most boba, boba, bo boba tea, bubble tea. It's never that good, and it's always like eight dollars. Have I seen the price of coconuts? I haven't seen anything. I bought grapes. I bought grapes. They're pretty good. You've never gone to Starbucks or had both. Really? Rogue Energy or Gamer Shop. Dude, that shit. You may as well just be buying pre workout. Unless, unless you can't handle the caffeine, I guess. This is the reason I've never, like, gotten a Gamer Shop's sponsorship one. Because I already talk about Monster all the time. And two. I need a. I I love caffeine. I love it. I love it so much. And the thing about gamer subs is it's just pre workout, but way underdosed for sedentary people. But yeah, it doesn't hit as hard. Yeah, then, then <laughs> you think gamer sub sounds cringe. No, being a gamer is cool. Yeah, and it has epic gamer branding. Not advanced GG, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They were oh, oh, fucking fuck you! Pragnarok Chiet X420, Marimari Karndok. Thank you, Prognarok, for the 420 bits. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah. If you're not huge on caffeine, gamer subs are pretty good. One thing I don't really like is I love carbonation, too. I love carbonation. If I'm gonna drink something flat, I may as well just drink water or juice. That's my opinion. But... Uh, one thing 
I'm gonna say about like these gamerships brands is they're all the same. They're all the same. Almost all of them have a caffeineless version too. The calf version. Uh, they all have the same flavors. Uh, <laughs> they're all very expensive. Uh, uh. I don't know. Nah, Sneak is all natural flavored and colored and actually really, really tasty. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, that's fair. But to be fair, energy drinks are gross. And for wicked, awful, crazy people. Um... And I drink those, so... Yeah. So I can't really get in anybody's business. We're drinking gamer sups. It tastes like Flintstone chewable multivitamins, and I love those. Wait, regular monster? No, regular monster tastes like shit. Regular monster was like definitively the worst monster flavor. I tried, like, most flavors of Monster. And I can confidently say that regular Monster tastes like I'm drinking something that is supposed to kill me and isn't even enjoyable. I don't even know how to describe the taste. It's... It's bad. It does taste like cologne. It does. It tastes like fucking perfume. Ugh. Drink water. I'll never understand people who say that. Wait, what you want me to do again? Buzzed off of water. You want me to stream six hours in a night? Water? And nothing else? Nothing, just water? It's not happening. I need something to stimulate my... My senses. I need something to tickle my pickle. Rack cocaine. That's why I am endorsing crack cocaine on my stream right now. Is crack expensive? What am I saying? Of course it's expensive. What the fuck am I on about? Probably, yeah, it's probably expensive. I don't even know where you find crack. I do not know. Cocaine, well, cocaine is for the bourgeoisie. That's what I learned. One time I had to ask chat, I'm like, chat, what's the difference between crack and cocaine? And someone said, crack is dirty and cheaper, and cocaine is like pure in what celebrities do on each other's buttholes. They give you crack for free? That can't be true. Don't ever buy no weed at the gas station, bro. Never buy no gas station weed. My eye was here, now it's right here. You've had both? Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. The feds are gonna 
Knock on your door. You've been clean for fish. Oh well, they can't. They can't arrest you for for being for not having it for fifteen years. That's good though. I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you didn't. You your life hasn't just been crack cocaine. Okay. That's awesome. Dude, addictions are scary. Really. I've known lots of people in, in my life with really bad, scary addictions, like alcohol, like even just alcohol. And it's bad because it's so, like it's so normal, right? It's so normal. And people kind of don't really realize it. Because the thing is, if you're doing crack, then people are like, oh, that's not okay. But if you drink, like, every night, some people are gonna raise some concerns, but... Um... Probably not gonna do anything. You know a streamer that's addicted to QVC. That that really sucks. But is that affecting her life negatively? Yeah. I I don't think so. I don't think so. I still haven't gotten any fucking gnomes. <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna go to the store and buy one. I think I'm still- I'm gonna do it. I actually saw gnomes at the store the other day. So... Praying... Praying for... That. <laughs> yeah, I went to the gnome store. Shockingly, I saw a bunch of gnomes. It was crazy. Doctor, thank you for the resubscription. Thank you so much. I probably got my refund. <laughs> but, uh... They usually just carry gnomes at, like, garden center. So, like, uh... Even at, at, at like, the Walmart. The Super Walmart. And the... Uh, What other stores have garden centers? Home Depot! Home Depot. That's it. Home Depot. And, uh... The Lowe's. Menards. I don't know what that is. Menards. Heard of that before. Sounds British. Scary to me. Menards? Wait, let me look up Menards. Let me see Menards. Save big money on your home improvement needs. At over 300 stores in categories. Like... Oh shit. Like tools, lumber, appliances, pet supplies, lawn, and gardening, and much more. Oh, wait, hold on. Dude, Menards are all the way out in Wisconsin. You know where Menards is? Illinois. Wisconsin. And... What the fuck is that? Illinois. There are... There are only Menards in Illinois. And Ohio. And Wisconsin. Damn. Michigan. I don't see one in Michigan. Wyoming, Michigan. Okay, there's one in, in Wyoming, Michigan. It doesn't say there's any in Missouri. 
I'm looking at an entire map of every single location. Yeah. There's no menards in Mexico. Just in case you guys were wondering. I know. Very heartbreak. Very sad. Oh, the misery. Every single person is my enemy. Also, did you guys notice that Peter is back? Everyone say hi, Peter Griffin. I just put him back because... For some reason, the... the um... The redeem wasn't working for him. So I just put him there. His home is where he belongs. Emotes aren't bouncing. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. Well... I guess I have something to fix later. No Family Guy funny moments. Why are you guys still pushing this? Why? 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 The bar is so high. The bar is so high, so ridiculously high. For something you guys don't even want to do. Might I add? Don't want Family fuck Guy. Fuck bullshit. yeah, fucking bullshit. Yeah. Little gay boy, 45. Little gay boy, 45. Oh yeah, I still need to find something for the link. God. I did see the fish eating Vienna sausages. He was a big guy. I think someone tagged me. Twitter doc. For you. What? What? But what? 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 Wait, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, is there any other very important news that I missed in terms of VTubing and the life? I feel so out of it. I feel out of the loop. And in a way. You shitted. I haven't been watching Shark Tank. What happened? I shitted. I shitted too. I saw the new Dog of Wisdom as well. Nicholas Cage was in my Discord. My humble Discord. Oh, you mean Sam Hyde's thing. Oh, I thought you meant... Oh, why was I thinking Shark Tank? No, I saw... I saw, like, the, uh, the first part of Fish Tank. Why am I under Square Young? was arrested last week. For what? Uh... <laughs> I miss Mario. I want a new Mario game so bad. So angry at me. You know what though? The Mario movie was good. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it so much that I've watched it three times. I, I don't know if I actually like it, or if I just like the fact that Mario is in it. I think I might just be that brain dead. That as soon as I... ...see Mario... ...on the big screen, I'm like, oh my god. Nothing could ever get better than this. It was a decent movie. It was like... ...an Illumination movie, that's for sure. I'm okay with it because I feel like it was very Mario. If that makes sense. I feel like it was very Mario. 
And I thought Mario's Italian family was cute. I don't know, I also thought that like Mario and Peach's interactions were really cute because I thought Peach was like really interested in like where Mario came from and she wanted to know where she came from. It was cute! Ugh. Family. Oh, Luigi was good in it too. The Mario movie did feel short, also. You liked everyone except DK. What, you didn't like Seth Rogen's famous laugh? <laughs> yeah, oh, you know what else I saw? You guys aren't gonna believe this. I saw the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Uh, it was fine. Can I? I so people who like really like Dungeons and Dragons probably like it. However, I don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, and so I watched it and I was like, "Wow, okay." It's a fantasy movie with fourth wall breaking. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. And to be quite frank, it was over two hours long and I didn't remember anything in it. It was certainly one of the fantasy movies of all time. It's true. I sat there and I watched a movie, a two hour and 15 minute long movie that I knew nothing about. For... why? Because I was sad and I wanted something to do. Ugh, I don't know, I don't know, okay? You watched Megan on a VTuber movie night? That movie sucks. That movie sucks. I don't know why I saw so many good things about it because I watched that movie and it was awful. It's pronounced Megan. I thought it was pronounced Mithrigan. Megan watch along when? Uh, now? Right now. I don't know how much I can... I don't know how much uh, I'll talk anymore. I don't know how much I can talk more. I mean, I didn't have anything planned for today. Tomorrow I am going to dive back into... Gas Station Simulator and maybe a couple more, like... Simulation games? Because we have the new DLC for Gas Station Simulator, we might as well try it out. Uh, because I got it for free. <gasps> oh my god! Sorry, I just came my pants. I just came my pants. Oh my god, I nearly shat myself. I'm sorry. I need to show you guys this! <laughs> oh! The grape fell out of my mouth. Simulation Saturday is back, baby. It's back. Yeah. Fun. There's crap on the floor. <laughs> okay. I missed streaming. Look at this! Ah! It's official! Wait, I'm gonna eat the grape off of the floor. 30 minute rule. Miku Fumo official. It's real. Pre-order. Wait. 
Where did they go? Give me pre-orders. Please, I need to do this before I forget. I'm glad I'm back too! Guys, you have no idea. I genuinely, 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 genuinely... Uh, need you guys to know. There's... Nothing that hurts me more than not streaming for a long amount of time. Because it's my favorite thing in the world. Uh, so I just want you guys to always know I always come back. I always come back. When I leave, I just... I gotta do something. Because unfortunately... Life calls. The fishbowl calls. And the kingdom is restless. What about when I die? I won't die. I'll get cybernetic enhancements and I'll become like Raiden from Metal Gear. And I'll stream forever. You guys will die before I do. And I'll have to watch all of the people I care about die before me as I continue to stream forever. <laughs> Damn. I made a good decision getting some grapes. It's so good. Guys. If you need a reason to buy some grapes. This is your reason. Buy some grapes. Yeah. They taste good. They do. Yeah, they do. Con candy grapes are good. I tried those for the first time a while back. And they do in fact taste like con candy. And they are in fact grapes. I'm very impressed. The design is very human. I think that line is very funny, but I'm not really sure what the... The reference is. The design is very human. I hear people say it sometimes. <laughs> it makes me smile. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It's very human. <laughs> Eighteen piece chicken wings. All right, I understand. This is the reason that let me know. That I have the biggest fucking grape in my mouth. All right, let me get this on the screen. We can watch it on my British YouTube. Oh, come on. It's making me do Quora. Or no, not Quora. Cap... Capchka. Oh, it's not British anymore. It's American. It's American YouTube now. Does that mean my... Does that mean my VPN isn't working anymore? I'll fucking... Work. I don't care. All right, let's watch this video. Very curious. The design is very human. TikTok. Whoa. It's big. Look, my YouTube is regular again. It doesn't have GB next to it. What does GB stand for? It's Mari Mari underscore Yen. Let's watch the design is very human. What is this? Very curious. After our feet are stepped on by others, and they don't know. So, I invented this anti-stepping shoe cover. The design is very human. When someone <laughs> steps on us, he can't leave without giving us an apology. <laughs> very easy to use. That's Many cute. people are afraid to eat meat for fear of gaining weight. So, I invented this meat fat reduction device. The design is very human. We only need to put the meat on the machine. 
Then start the switch. <laughs> Let the meat move to reduce their fat, so we don't have to worry about gaining weight by cute eating little meat. Very easy to use. In the morning, we always cannot get up, so we I always the cannot to get, get up, up to assist the bed. The design is very human. Every morning, when the time is set, it will force us to get up, <laughs> so that we can wake up early every day. Very easy to use. <laughs> this is my newly invented oh multifunctional God, bicycle one. seat. The first is like the anti-theft system. After locking, oh. others can't ride away. Rain does not affect the use of the seat. It is easy Ooh, to freeze our ass in winter. Is very so human. also added seat oh, heating function. Warm. If we are tired of riding, can also Have you guys stop ever at any sat time on to a bake food to eat. Seat very before? easy to use. When we go out in high heels, it is easy oh. to twist our feet on uneven surfaces. So, I invented this all-terrain heels. The Ooh, design is very human. That's Let my good friend demonstrate. We only need to put the air tank on our back. When we encounter an uneven surface, we only need to push the switch. It can switch to a flat shoe. Ah. Press the switch again to switch to high heels, or it to run it and climb like mountains chicken again. Feet. Very easy to use. When we slap our friends, our own hands can be very painful. Ladies, so, take note. I invented this slapping machine. The design is very human. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. Oh, we just need to put the machine in front of machine. our friend, and then make a movement in front of the camera. The machine will imitate us. <laughs> what? So that our hands don't feel pain. Very easy to use. We are easily awakened <laughs> by nightmares at night. It is difficult to fall asleep again after waking up. So, I invented this soothing bed. The design is very human. Oh. When we are awakened by nightmares, it will automatically activate the switch to put us to sleep and also help us cover up. The design is very human. Oh, wow. This guy is innovating. This man will have a job at Google in two months. It's getting to the real ones. Real ones? Very easy oh, to shit. use. Our boyfriends often look at pretty girls while using their phones. Oh no. So, I That's invented awful. this device. The design is very human. When the camera detects a pretty girl on the phone, it will automatically activate the switch. <laughs> okay. Very easy to use. We are very smelly when we defecate. Our fucking so, boyfriends. I invented this toilet. The design is very human. Let my good friend demonstrate. We just need to sit on it and then activate the switch. It will I separate need us this. from the toilet. So we can't smell the odor when we defecate. I very need easy to it. use. When we meet the bad guys, always very helpless. Ooh. So I invented this self-defense armor. We meet the, the bad design guys. Is very human. Let me demonstrate. We only need to put it on to go out. He looks like a dreidel. Game, we can immediately hide in. You can see the camera. So the enemy will not be able to do anything to us. <laughs> We can also activate the switch to release smoke to confuse the enemy and escape. <laughs> it's Shuckle! Very easy to use. We sleep and roll over easily fall out of bed. So, I invented this bed of drawers. The design is very human. We just need to lie oh. on it, then activate the switch. Oh, like so a we will crib. not fall out of bed. And it's oh, also no, very like warm a inside. Coffin. Never very mind. easy to use. We are always very bored when we go to the toilet. So, I invented <laughs> this swing toilet. The design is very human. Let me demonstrate. When we <laughs> no. go to the toilet, we just need to sit on it no, and then no. activate the switch. So we are not bored when we go to the toilet. <laughs> and regular use can also prevent constipation. <laughs> very easy to use. This ordinary mosquito incense burns very slowly. Poor mosquito repellent effect. So, I the invented swing, this powerful I mosquito want a repellent swing toilet. That's The design so is very human. We just need to I break do the get bored every time I go on the toilet. It That's so on. true. The smoke of the mosquito incense is very big. <laughs> Let mosquitoes know where to hide. <laughs> we no longer have to be afraid of mosquitoes, so we can sleep well. Very easy oh to use. God. When we flick our friends' heads with our fingers, because the force is too small, our friend didn't feel anything and our hands hurt. So, I invented I'm this really big thank friend you for this subscription. The design is very I really human. appreciate it. Let my two it. good friends demonstrate. Thank we just you. need to wear it on our arm and point it at our friend. <laughs> Very easy to use. When we go to a public bathroom to the use design the toilet, is very we often human. encounter people inside for a long time to come out. So, I invented this limited time shared bathroom. <laughs> the design is very <laughs> human. Just close the door and it will count down to 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it will automatically let the person inside come out. Let my good friend demonstrate. 3, 2, 1. Oh, good. Very easy to use. When we women wear skirts in summer, when skirt we women be blown away by right the wind. Chat. So, I invented this skirt anti-flying aids. The design is very human. When we go we out, women. we only need to put the air pump on our back. When there is wind, <laughs> we only need to activate the switch. So our skirt will be tightened. <laughs> when the wind has stopped, we just need to start the switch again. The skirt will be back to normal. 
very easy to use <laughs> to keep our friends from staying in the toilet for too long. Dad. So, I invented this time toilet. The design is very like human. A when our friend goes to the there. toilet, we just need to set the time. When the time is up, if the friend still doesn't come out, it will start automatically. Oh my god! Very easy to use. Many people can't get out of bed in the morning, so... I invented this early wake up aid bed. Wait, the isn't this is the same human. thing? Just lie in it when you sleep. The next morning it will automatically let us get up. <laughs> oh shit, they advanced Very easy it. To use. We're advanced sleepers. Oh my god. Now, well now I know. Thank you, thank you. The design is very human. I will never stop thinking about it. I will never forget. Oh, loud. It was Im honestly, I'm impressed by his uh, skill. Is that an appropriate word? Use? I'm impressed by his ingenuity. I'm impressed by his uh, his make making. Good at good at, um, at making. Very nice, my live. Very Being nice. Chizzy. Being cheesy. He's a genius. Who's that Naruto VTuber? That's my brother. His name is, uh... Ne ne I always call him... Neko brother. I always call him Cat brother. I don't remember his real name. Neko Yashiki is his name. Neko Yashiki. He is born of the same art mom that I am. We're, we're kin. Like Boruto's dad. <laughs> Somebody told me, someone told me today in my Discord, they said, Mari, do you ever think that you look like Boruto? And I almost got a little bit offended. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Do you, what do you mean? I don't look like Boruto. No, I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm Naruto's brother. Wait. The eye? What about the eye? What do you mean you see it? What do you mean? You're just making things. You're making it up. You're making it up. I look more like... But... Do you guys know the VTuber named MariMari underscore Yen? I look like that one. Look like Bull Rat. You look like Bull Rat. No. No. Oh, never heard. What are you talking about? Who? I only know Gargura. Hollow Live. And Kazuma I. I don't know. I like VTubers. Why are VTubers crazy? You guys ever realize that? The ratio of... The mentally ill VTuber ratio is very high. As well as mentally ill chat... Chat member ratio. For VTubers. You know what they say, crazy attracts crazy after. But why? Why, why? Why, 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 why? Why? Is autism... Autism isn't a mental illness, though. Is it? I don't know what autism is. I don't know. Does can you even take like is there medicine for autism? I know that sounds really stupid, but is there medicine for autism? I don't think so. Yes? No? I 
Adderall? That's for ADHD. Adderall is for ADHD. That's why I think autism is like very different from everything else because generally I think people like own their autism and they generally function without medication. But I know ADHD, like you could take Adderall and Ritalin and stuff like that. Also, Thunderscott and Goldaro, thank you for the resubscriptions. I really appreciate it. Fecal to fecal transplant. In what? Well, well for, for 80, for, for what? Whoa. I thought they only did that for like physical ailments. There's gastrointestinal links to autism. That is really interesting. It's really interesting. That's why all of the sexy girls have tummy issues. <laughs> That's why all of the sexy gamer girls have tummy issues. I just figured it out. <laughs> yeah, hot lady shit. Yeah, people say girls don't poop. Women shit. Autism is the secret ingredient. Well, yeah, because... Gamers are autistic. Yeah. They love it. It's it's like I said. Um crazy attracts crazy. And well that goes for other things too, I guess. Hot ladies can't shit. No, Mari Mari can't shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to let you guys down. I think that's just a me problem. But I hear about a lot of VTubers with like, tummy issues in terms of, what do you call it? IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure even more of them have it and they just don't talk about it. And Germa. Germa has IBS. Crohn's disease. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, it's all making sense now. <laughs> what about the ones faking IBS for clout? Yeah, all those god darn awful people faking IBS for clout. Just terrible. IBS is a real problem that a lot of people have to deal with daily. How could they do something like that? You can't just use our disease for your entertainment. Yeah, absolutely pathetic. I'm really gonna, we're gonna really need to bring the hammer down, guys. <laughs> but that's interesting. I didn't know that there was a gastrointestinal link to autism. There's a lot I don't know. I really worry sometimes when I ask questions about things like that, that people are gonna get angry at me. Because when I remember one time I had someone come into my chat and they were really angry. Because I was taking an autism test. And they were like, that is so, like, inappropriate of you. And they were, like, so angry. They were like, you, you don't even have autism. But I never even said I did. <laughs> I, was, 
I was just taking a test for it. I don't know. Yeah, you're just an autistic poser. It was scary. I don't know. Yeah, let me take the test and then we'll see if I have autism or not. <laughs> It's true though, I do not like weighted blankets. Assuredly, I don't think I have autism. But I do not like weighted blankets, that's for sure. They make me feel held down. It's scary. Weighted blankets are scary. It makes you feel like Stuck. The perfect way to have a blanket is. You want my favorite blanket is like those really light, uh, down feather comforters that are really really big, but they're really. Light. You know what I mean? And no comforter like sheet on it. it has no comforter cover on it. It's just the comforter. That's my ideal blanket. It feels so good. Yeah. I don't like heavy ones. And then when you wake up in the middle of the night, a little too hot in the summer, you just put, you stick one leg out. And then it, it, everything's perfect. The equilibrium. It fixes everything. Yeah. Put one leg in, you take one leg out, you put one leg in, and you shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You know what I hate though? Usually I'm a very cool person. And I remember growing up my mom and, and brothers. I don't know what it was, but they like needed to always air at the house. Always, they would always open the windows, like all the windows in the night. And it would get so freaking unbelievably cold. I wouldn't know, we weren't stinking it up. It was just like, I don't know what it was. They just liked it cool and they liked it brisk, I guess. I don't know. I just want to be warm. I just want to be warm. Hey, listen, listen. I knew when it was stanky, okay? Because I wasn't the boy. I wasn't the boy. Young, like, teenage boys get stinky and stanky. And every single time I'd walk into my brother's room, it was like... It was, it was like a different climate. It was like a different, it was warm and it was like humid. I don't even know how, but it was like humid in there and it smelled bad. So like, I kind of get why they would open all the windows. I downstairs. Why? It's too cold for me. Yeah, musky. It is what it is. It was bad though, it's bad. That's why I got my own room. It's from all the cooling, ugh, don't say that. You know what I can't stand? People don't understand this if, if, uh, if they don't have siblings, but I don't, I, I can't stand like bro con. I can't do it. I love anime, and I, I love everything about it, but... I can't do it. <laughs> when you have your own brothers, it's like... It's different. I don't know why, but I can stand Syscon anime a little better. Because you kind of like, insert as the boy? I don't know! I don't know how to explain it! 
But like, I can't stand the bro con. Yeah. But like, if, if I imagine like, no, no, it's not double standards. It's just how I feel. Okay, I only have brothers. But if I imagine like, like I can get by a rhymo because it's like, I can I can get by like that. What do you, what do you mean? What am I talking about? Well, yeah. I mean, if I pretend I'm the brother and I have sisters, it's kind of different, right? I prefer a younger or older sister. I wish I had an older sister so I had like guidance. So I had like female guidance, if that makes sense. I didn't have that. I didn't know, and my mom never taught me anything. I don't know how to explain it. I want, I want an, a big sister. What if they're gay? What if who's gay? The sisters? The, s the sisters are gay? I don't know. Morally gray anime... Incest sisters. No, I was never an older sister. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I can, I can honestly let, like, con stuff get by me. Especially if it's two girls. I don't really think about it. I was gonna say something. I think I was gonna say, uh... Do you guys know Toho? <laughs> Do you know Toho Project? Do you know? Do you know? Well, there's um, embodiment, embodiment of the Scarlet Devil. Obviously, there's a mansion. There's a Scarlet Devil mansion, and there's sisters? Question mark. There's sisters. The Scarlet sisters. There's Flan and there's Romelia. And all I can imagine is like. In my head, that mansion is just like one big lesbian orgy. And like, I can... I, I don't know what I'm saying! I don't know what I'm saying! What do you mean that Toho's are like 11? They're literal yokai. What do you mean? Why, why is this always like, why is there always like this conversation of, oh, but, 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 like, oh, but M Maureen from Dress Up Darling is 17. So you're a pedophile. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, fucking, I don't know. What do you want from me? <laughs> do you want to make this a battle of like... Superiority? Do you want to make this a battle? Do you want to fight over who, who's morally superior? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I've never jacked off to a single anime girl. And you know what? Anime girls have extremely exaggerated and baby-like features. So if you jack off to anime, then you're you're a, a bad person. And I'm not a bad person because I have never jacked my wiener to anime before. <laughs> I have the high ground now! I have the high ground! I only jack my wiener 
have verified over 30 models. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Honestly, though, do the world a service and jack off to anime. Because everyone knows that the porn industry is fucked up. I'm just saying. You know what? I, do, 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 do the world a favor and, and jack off to images in your head. Don't consume anything. Just, just don't consume. That's called the spank bank. <laughs> what if you have aphantasia? I can't imagine anything. So it'll just be dark in my head, but you guys can because you have good um, memories, right? You have good imaginations. <laughs> Just crank it to the void. Just gray outlines. It's fine. Just, just stare at the wall. I don't know what. I remember. Do you guys know <laughs> about this? I think it was like a. I don't remember. It was some kind of post. And it was about this guy who said that he was sexually attracted to floor tiles. Because he'd always stare at the floor tiles and sit on the toilet when he was jacking off or something. And so every single time he saw floor tiles, he got a boner. And he would always have to jack off every single time he went into the bathroom. <laughs> he said that he was even, like, slobbering every single time he saw tiles because he literally pavloved himself into being attracted to floor tiles. He'd go feral. Honestly, yeah, he probably did have a hard time in public restrooms, but who doesn't? Who doesn't? Public restrooms are the worst. The absolute freaking worst. I refuse to shit in a public restroom. I will, I will hold it. I don't care how long it takes me. I don't care. I will hold my shit for 48 hours if I have to. Ugh. <laughs> you have shit next to a motherfucker blasting TikToks on full volume. Honestly, that's nice though, because the TikTok is like masking the sounds. Right? Women's bathrooms aren't super dirty. Not all the time. The dirtiest bathrooms I've ever been in have just been like. Um. gas station bathrooms. Like the ones with just like one room. Probably haven't cleaned them in seven days. Yeah, I don't know. I think that bathrooms can be equally dirty. It just depends on the area. Easily. Sometimes... And people don't believe me when I say this, but sometimes women's bathrooms have couches in them. Like in malls and stuff. So how dirty can they get? Right? I feel like that's like what you do to reward a child. Like, if you go in the potty and don't get any on the floor, then I'll, I'll let you have a... Uh, a chair in the bathroom. Or, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's real. I swear to God, it's real. It's real, 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 real. It's real. 
real. I've seen couches in, in female mall bathrooms. Never tables, though. For what, though? I don't know. To... Think after you take a shit. Sometimes you have a life-changing shit. Okay. And you just need to sit and think about it for a while. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta think about your shit. For a bit. It's difficult. It's not... Especially if it's in a public restroom. And you just think, man, I wonder who heard me blasting ass in here. And man, I wonder... Like, I really shouldn't have eaten that... Uh... Seven course... Steak meal last night. And... Maybe I should be eating more fiber, less protein. That was the hardest shit I've ever had in my life. Sometimes it really do be like that. Like you're building, you're building mass in your body. Building <coughs> mass in your body and it can't get out. Mono, thank you for the hundred bits, motherfucker. Yeah, I shouldn't eat Taco Bell last night. Taco Bell shits are fake. I swear to God, they're fake. I've never shat. Taco Bell has never made me shat. Maybe this also has something to do with autism. Maybe autistic people get Taco Bell shits because of the gastrointestinal. I don't know. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut makes sense to me. Because it's greasy and cheesy and and pepperoni y. Yeah. That that screams shit to me. That screams shitting to me. Cheese cheese equals shit in my brain. Always. It doesn't necessarily make you shit immediately, but it gives you bad shits. You know... I don't even know what gives me bad shits. I can't even think of any. I feel like I have a pretty strong tum tummy. But I never shit. Never... I don't do it enough to like have... The... The wherewithal. I don't have the wherewithal to tell you guys. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a perfect being that uses a hundred percent of the calories that I eat. So shit never comes out. I'm a hundred percent efficient. That's what I like to tell myself. Yeah. Shitting is inefficient. Just use every bit. Of it. Yeah, the leather couch in the women's restroom. And and sometimes they have like a waiting room before the bathroom. Sometimes. Yeah. God, my least favorite thing though in the world is like walking like let's let me offer you guys a scenario. Okay. Let's say you're in a line for a restroom. In a public space. And there's like five stalls. And there's all these people waiting. And you walk into the stall that just freed up. And the toilet is like clogged with toilet paper. And there's piss on the seat. What do you do? What do you do? Do you walk out? You walk out and be like, I can't piss in here or poo in here. Like, it's clogged and just leave it for the next person? Or do you piss in it and leave it for the next person anyways? And then maybe they'll think you did it? And 
and run out so they don't see your face. <laughs> Do not abandon the mission, soldier. I see, this is what I don't know either. How do women get piss on the seat? This is a question for the ages. They probably hover and they don't use the like toilet. There's like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's toilet covers that you can take and put on the seat. If you don't want your ass touching the seat. But people just hover and they get piss. Piss all over the seat. Like why? Or what? They want, they want you to sit on their piss. Literal sit pissers. Wait, do men not get the toilet seat covers? Wait, why? You guys have toilets in there, right? There's toilets in there, they do, oh good. Okay, good, good. The, <laughs> the urinal covers. Dude, if they had like something like that, I feel like it would become like a social experiment though. I feel like it would become a social experiment and like other guys would look at each other and be like, are they using the urinal covers? Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna look like a, a fool by using this because they'll be like more cool than I am if if they're not using it and I am because I'm gonna look like a bad pisser like that would be a social experiment urinal trough do urinal troughs still exist? I bet they do like festivals and stuff when was the last time you've pissed in a trough? <laughs> At pubs. Oh. You drink socially and then you piss socially. Back on the farm. Mono, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. A year ago. Last week? Damn. Damn, that's wicked. Last week? You're going places. Have you guys ever sat on a toilet seat warm? Oh, like one with a warmer on it? Changes your life. It's weird. Changes your life. Like a warm toilet seat with a bidet? It's strange. It, you know what it's like? All I can think about is... When you go into a public restroom and you go in right after someone else and you sit on the toilet and it's still... It's still warm. All I can think about... <laughs> No, 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 that's not what I meant. I mean like an actual toilet seat with a warm. That's what I mean. Yours plays music like a rice cooker? I love Zoji Rishi rice cookers. Because whenever you make rice in it, it goes... <laughs> And it's exciting. It's my favorite thing in the world. I wouldn't mind a toilet doing that to me too, as like a good job if you poo. Because sometimes I need that extra push, like... Like I'm on the toilet and I'm like white knuckle driving and I'm going... If I just get this out... The elephant will be happy! You know, like... 
That'll make me feel better. And then when I get it out, boom, boom. The total toilet showroom in Tokyo? That's real. <laughs> That sounds freaking awesome. I need a toilet that hugs me too, are you kidding? It's in Narita Airport Terminal 2. I would love to go to Japan so bad. Uh, after watching the Kirby Cafe video... My heart, my heart, my heart, my heart. I wanted to go to the Pokemon Cafe, but I heard that the food tastes bad. But the Kirby Cafe food looks good. I would reserve a seat six months in advance. I would do that. That'd be awesome. But yeah, let's take let's take a trip to Marietta Airport Terminal 2 and go see the toilets. How many Kirby Cafe vids have I watched? Like two? Only like two. So not that many, it's just like... I wanna... I wanna go! It, it looks so cute! It looks way better than the Pokemon one. Like, what the fuck? You know where I wanted to go? The Gundam Cafe! But it's fucking closed! We're good. It's so sad. It's so sad. The what cafe? The Gundam Cafe. It closed for good. You went to the Kirby Cafe? Oh, you. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. That sounds so great. Speaking of, like, they had a Dark Souls restaurant cafe? No, not condom cafe. Yeah, they serve all your food in a condom. It's an experience cafe. The condom cafe. That's where I want to go. <gasps> oh my goodness! Pasta! Pasta! Good to see you, motherfucker. Good to see you. It's been a while. Been a little bit. You know what? I haven't streamed in two weeks. So you came at the right time. Good to see you. If you uh, are my friend, if you are Mari Mari underscore Yen's friend, then so. Please go watch Pasta. She's hard worker. She likes Among Us. I think... And I watch her play Minecraft, and she looks like a giraffe made out of macaroni art. And I really like that. It reminds me of being a kindergartner and like making macaroni art. Well, I, she has like the giraffe antlers, right? And they're made of macaronis. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the follows. My name is Mari Mari underscore N. I'm a goldfish princess VTuber. I love trucking. I love fucking. But most importantly, I love cranking my hog. Oh. But yeah, good to see all of you. I was just talking about Japan. Japan Daisuke. Evangelion Daisuke. I've never been to Japan, but I talk about it a lot because I'm a weeaboo. Yeah, I, you're right. I provide the water the pasta boils in. That's so cute to think about. That's true. You know, that's something people don't know about me. You may think I'm a stupid fish, but I am a princess and I do have magical powers. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I'm not just a land-loving, stupid, crazy motherfucker. Can I swim? Yes, I can swim. 
not just an idiot fish. Okay, well. Yeah. Fish royalty. Down with the monarchy. No, no, no. Monarchy changed your life. No, I'm just... No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just... I'm just joking about being a Leopard. I just didn't... I, I enjoy... I, I'm a VTuber. I'm anime. I'm literally anime. I, I gotta be a bit appreciative of some of my favorite things. I love anime. I do. But I'm not a weeaboo. Um, I would love to go to Japan because... Uh, I want to sit on the toilet. I want to sit on the toilet with the bidet in it. <laughs> Tell Japanese women that you are an otaku. They love otaku. Oh, <laughs> I want to go to a Japanese. I want to go to Japan and I want to go to a lesbian bar. Thank you, Chris Barnes and 9000 Slayer for the resubscriptions. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the motherfucking cum train. I want to go to a lesbian bar because one of my favorite Jav actresses on Twitter, she does lesbian stuff too. And I, and she posts about going, she posts about going to them sometimes. And it kind of looks exciting. It kind of looks way better than regular book. Yeah, she followed me. Yeah, does lesbian stuff. What? Like, for her content. What do you mean, question mark, question mark? What do you think? What do you think? Bara, bara. Bara, bara, bara. Bara, wait, that sounds fun too. Bara, bara, bara. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Lesbian woman. <laughs> you guys have never seen a woman before. I understand why it's confusing. But it's when two women love each other very much and so they... Hug and kiss. Yeah, I get it. I understand. Is that allowed? Yeah. I know it's shocking. Women go places? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Heart! Thank you so much for the resubscription. I really appreciate it. Do, 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 do they hold hands too? Yeah. Like, put it, they do lesbian stuff. Wait, was. Don't tell anyone I told you that, okay? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> born in a truck, born in a field, corn... Wait, Pasta. I forgot to ask you, what are you do today? What did you do today? How was your stream? I was so... Preoccupied. She threw up. Are you okay? Do you need a uh, ginger ale? I don't know. <laughs> Too many be. Oh, you ate beans. You ate beans. You ate the gross jelly beans that taste like vom. Those are awesome. And what's wrong with capers and coke? Wait, like crack? Cocaine? Pasta. Come on, man. I thought you were better than that. Jeez. Well, I won't tell anyone. All right, I'm not a freaking narc, okay? 
I'm not a narc. But you can't be doing that, okay? Can't be doing that. Paper flavored. You know, I was talking about this earlier, but one of my favorite things in the world, like for a treat sometimes, is like a Coca Cola with a lemon in it. Lemon juice is so good. It's so good. Hmm. The FBI wouldn't know if a VTuber does crack. Yeah, because VTubers can say anything. I just... Uh, did five heroines right now. They... Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Do... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you even call? How do you even do heroin? I did five of them though, I promise. VTubers don't get special permission. All VTubers get on a list with each other. It's the VTuber watch list. You know how there's an incel watch list? There's a VTuber one too. And you know what? Tangentially, there's a chat member one, too. You watch VTubers? You're next. You're next. Death. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I don't really know what the... Um, what the context was, but I heard about, like, the incel cult leader getting laid and all of the incels revolting. And the, like, the biggest incel had to leave the incel community? He stepped down because he had sex. And everyone was really angry. <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah, it was betrayal. Betrayal on the highest level. A faker and a fraud, not a real incel. Fake incel. Fake news. Gone forever. If he said no, he'd be a vault cell then. Wait, but can you be a vol cell and an incel? But isn't part of the incel lifestyle just like not talking to women though? I'm confused. So like, how could he end up in that situation to begin with? That was his fault. Hi, Pasta! Thank you for the read! Thank you! So good to see you! Recover well, drink some ginger ale. Uh, don't do crack. Bad for you. I'd like to see you live at least another two months. At least. Can you stay for my birthday? It's July 8th. Can you live until my birthday? Thanks. Can die after that is fine. No crack until my birthday. But speaking of, uh, I now that pasta is gone, don't let her know I'm doing this. But I am gonna have to end. I'm sorry. But tomorrow, uh, cause this is just like getting back into it, getting back, talking a little bit. However, if you guys want, we can watch a movie in the Discord. I won't talk. I don't want to talk in the movie, but we can watch a movie in the Discord. I'll be in the chat. Zaxter, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Yeah, you know, just a short three hour talk. You know, just a short stream. Short for Mari Mari underscore, yeah. Please understand. Okay. But yeah, we can watch a movie. And 
I'll be in the text chat. Thank you. If you got a gift sub, be sure to uh, crank the Zaxter's hog, please. Yeah, short pre-stream before the big game. The Megan Cam Rip. Yay. I don't know. Movie is up to the will of my mods. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had fun. I'm so glad to be back. So glad to see everybody. And I will continue to slowly get back and do everything. I missed all of you. It's always good to see you. I remember, I always come back for you. <laughs> so you don't need to freak out. Because my favorite thing in the world is streaming. Okay, so I'm going to... Who am I gonna raid? I know who I'm gonna raid! I'm gonna raid Proton John! Because I never get to! Raid Proton John! Yes! 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 No! Shit! Oh. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, now we're now we're popping, now we're cranking. Okay, uh fish raid, fish raid, fish raid, fish raid. He's playing games and demos. <laughs> Tell him thank you for everything. Tell him I I am a fan of him. Tell him thank you for all of the raids he's given me in the past. Oh shit, fuck fuck, fuck fuck. Fuck fuck, fuck fuck. Fuck fuck, fuck fuck, fuck fuck, fuck fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. If you wanna be update, get in the Discord. If you, I, I don't know, if you want to watch a cam rip? Slotslights.com Slots Poker Gaming Casino Goodbye See you tomorrow We're for Simulation Saturday In the daytime, goodbye Get, get away Get away from me